guys, welcome back to Beauty by Nile. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Today's video is on the new ColourPop Kathleen Lights collaboration. And this is where the light is. It is a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow quad. I really, really hope you guys all know who Kathleen Lights is. If not, girl, where you been living? I'm gonna link her channel down below. She is amazing, she is a sweetheart. I don't know her personally, but I really, really like her energy and her genuinity when she does her videos. So, this is her second collab with ColourPop. She had previously done a lippy stick and lippy pencil in Lumiere, which is beautiful. Um, but then she teamed up with them to do this gorgeous, gorgeous quad. And just let's start off with the packaging. The packaging is amazing. I love everything about it. It's just beautiful. Like, I. I'm not really a packaging person, but I'm very, very drawn to this. It's just so pretty. And then it just says where the light is, ColourPop, a whole bunch of little bubble lights. And then it has her YouTube name right here, which is Kathleen Lights. So first I'm gonna show you guys the quad, tell you guys a little bit about it, what I think, show you guys some swatches. And then the last part of the video is gonna be a tutorial using the, sh well, a demo, I guess, using the shadows. And what I created with it is something that I, I'm pretty sure I've done something very similar on my channel before. It's just kind of like a go-to for me. I just love these type of eye looks. And of course, with a warm tone quad, I couldn't help myself. So again, it is something I've done before, but now it's incorporating these eyeshadows. But for the look, I used all four shadows and I put um, Blaze on the outer V, Kathleen Lights on the inner part, like the inner half of the eyelid. Cornelius on the crease, and then I just did the inner, inner, the tear duct highlight and the brow bone highlight with glow. And I think the only other shade I used was Orange Soda by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just wanted to add a little bit more orange in there because why not? Now, they just come like this. This is the first um, eyeshadow quad that I own, but I've seen that most of them come like this, and it just comes with the four shades. And it comes in single eyeshadow form, which is generally how all of color, all of ColourPop's eyeshadows come. ColourPop eyeshadows have a really interesting feel to them. Um, they're very like squishy. You can indent them. They're moussey, but they apply amazingly. Are so pigmented. Even the mattes are just such cool, cool shades. This first one is called Glow, and it's just a really, really pale like cream shade I feel like this is really ideal for light to medium skin tones um, but if you are of darker skin tone you can definitely get some use out of this um, maybe as like kind of like a you know how sometimes people put the NYX jumbo eye pencil and milk over their eye um, you can use this to set it make your shadows more vibrant um, definitely I definitely feel like everybody can get use out of this and this is glow the next one is called Cornelius, which was named after her dog, which is so cute. And this is just a really warm brown. It's like a really perfect transition shade. Really, really perfect um, all over the lid shade. Kind of to smoke out the lower lash uh, or buff out and give some color and definition to it. Dog on. My hands have come out. <laughs> I really, really love this shade. This is what I have in my crease. And what I have buffed under um, on my lower lash line, or oh, on my lower, you know what I mean. So again, it's uh, oh I'm sorry. And glow is a matte finish, and so is Cornelius. Um, just a perfect shade. This quad is a really really warm tone, which if you guys know Kathleen Lights, warm looks are her favorite. Therefore, it only makes sense that she would create a warm toned quad. Um, and of course you guys know that I love warm tone shadows, I love warm looks, so this was heavenly for me, it was just perfect. These shades are so highly pigmented, they are so creamy, like it's so difficult to explain ColourPop shadows, you have to feel them. But they're very like creamy, they apply very creamy, and then they kind of end up kind of powdery. I don't know, it's really weird to explain, but they are some of the coolest shadows, like their texture is just so cool. Okay. The next one, which is my favorite, is called Kathleen Lights. And this one is a pearlized finish. You guys, if you know me, if you've been sub to me for a while, you know copper, kind of flamey, orangey shades are everything to me. I just love them. 
and this one does not like fall short of gloriousness <laughs> this is what it looks like it is beautiful I'm gonna actually live swatch this for you it's unbelievable this one feels like a foiled eyeshadow like it legit feels like a foiled eyeshadow it is intense it is so in like so unbelievably smooth and pigmented I am like over the moon for this shadow definitely this specific eyeshadow is my favorite in the quad it is to die for like it is out of this freaking world like I cannot get over how beautiful that shadow is and then the last one is uh, ah! the last one is called blaze and this is beautiful bronze shade but it's not like it's more of an antique bronze this is a metallic finish so it has a, a lot of like gold glitters it's bronzy with a lot of gold glitters this one right here and just like the rest it is so creamy so pigmented so beautiful what I love is that even though it has so much glitters it's not chunky it's very smooth you don't feel it it doesn't make the texture of the shadow gritty or anything of the sort so definitely perfectly made and it is a beautiful 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 bronze shade I'm telling you homegirl killed it with these shadows like she did such a good job and the color selection was perfect it defines who she is and what she loves um, if you don't like warm tone eyeshadows I don't know if it's gonna be for you <laughs> but even then I would tell you to definitely give it a try because the colors are so beautiful that you just can't pass it up this is $20 generally every ColourPop shadow is $5 each um, but because it is a quad and the sizes are the same as like the regular $5 eyeshadows the total cost for the quad is $20 which I find to be very reasonable um, because they're gonna last you such a long time and they're such good quality now if you are in a budget and you only wanted to purchase one unfortunately you can't they're only sold in the quad but definitely if you can invest in it I really really recommend it and if you don't have the extra cash hanging around to invest in it maybe I don't know maybe if you're a mom you can ask for it for Mother's Day if your birthday's coming up you can request it as a birthday gift but if you can get an extra $20 this is a good way to go it's really really good has a nice highlight shade has a very nice crease transition shade all over the lid shade and then it has those beautiful metallic foiled eyeshadows like I can't get over how intensely pigmented these bad boys are like I can't <laughs> another thing um, I find that these shadows are a little tricky or they can be a little tricky to work with not just the quad um, ColourPop in general while they are amazing the best way definitely to apply especially like if you want to blow it out in the crease would definitely be to use a synthetic brush with these eyeshadows I just feel like it's the type of brushes that blend out the best and then for the more foiled metallic shades I feel like the best way to use these are with your fingers definitely with your fingers you get a full opacity full pigmentation it's just the best way I feel the same way with the uh, makeup geek foiled eyeshadows I feel like with these intense metallic very vibrant shades if you want to pack on that like <clears throat> pack on that color definitely your fingers is the best way to go if not again a synthetic brush a very dense brush that can pack on the color is what I would recommend the most you guys will see in the video what I used um, but again for my lid shade I just used my fingers because it was the best thing for me to do but yeah that pretty much does it for my thoughts on the Kathleen lights quad I find it to be beautiful and it is definitely super duper intensely pigmented like I can't get over how perfect it is Kathleen if ever in this world you watch this video you did so good great 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 job love it I am in love with these eyeshadows so if you guys are interested in seeing these shadows demoed and being applied with lid and stuff and I guess a mini tutorial then make sure to just keep watching so the first thing that
that I'm doing is that I'm taking my NARS eyelid primer and I'm going to prime my eyelids just to make sure that the eyeshadows don't move or crease. Now I'm going to go into this eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and this is uh, Beaches and Cream and I'm just using this with a 239 from MAC to set that primer. This just makes it easier to uh, blend any other shadows that you apply. <laughs> so this is my Sigma E40 and I'm taking it into this uh, orange soda eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't really like these new Sigma E40s. I don't like the way that they shape them. I don't know. It's just... Ugh, I hate the way that it applies shadow. So I went into my Sonia Kashuk brush and this is uh, number 106 and this just uh, helps apply the eyeshadow a little bit more pigmented and it's blending it as well. And I'm dipping that into Cornelius and I am buffing that into the crease. I really really love this brush. I love the way that it very precisely applies the eyeshadow and I am building that up on the crease and then I'm using that Sonia Kashuk brush once again just to buff out any harsh lines just to make it seem as blown out as possible. You guys saw how beautiful that shadow is, right? <laughs> I'm using my finger to apply that to the outer half of the eye. Um, I'm going to keep dipping my finger back into that pot just to build up the color more and more. Um, I really want it to be really opaque and the more you build it, it doesn't get like cakey or flake off or anything like that. So love this. And then I'm going to go back into that Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm just going to blend out the crease a little bit. And now I'm taking this stunning shade, as you can tell I love it, and this is Kathleen Lights from the Quad. Oh, and the, the brassier antique shade is uh, Blaze. Anyway, going into Kathleen Lights, I'm going to pack this onto the inner half of my eyelid and then I'm going to blend the two shades together with my fingers and it just transitions so pretty I, I really, really, really like the way it came out. I tried filming my eyeliner on camera and it was a fail. I was so out of frame. Um, but anyway, I ended up doing a pretty thick line because I messed up and I had to fix it. Um, but then I took my Urban Decay brush, this, I got this in the Naked 3 palette, and I dipped back into Blaze and Kathleen Lights and touched up those lid colors. And then again with that 106 Sonia Kashuk brush just to blend the eyelid shade. Now I'm taking the shade which is Glow and it's just a nice matte, creamy, ivory kind of shade. And I'm just applying that as a brow bone highlight. I got a little bit heavy handed like I underestimated the pigment as you guys can tell from my face. But I just went in with a fluffy brush and blended it all out. Now I'm going to apply my Ardell Wispy Lashes but I did that off camera. Coming back with this LA Girl uh, eyeliner. I don't remember the name but I will list it down below. I'm just using that on my waterline. I'm going back into Cornelius and with a smudging brush I am smudging that on the lower lash line and then I'm going to go into blaze and I'm going to put that on the outer half of the lower lash line for a little bit more definition. Now I'm going back into glow and I'm using that as an inner tear duct highlight and I'm blending that out with my fingers. And with this Morphe kind of tapered blush, blush, brush, I'm taking Cornelius and just buffing that on the lower lash line and then I'm going to add some Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara to my lower lashes. This is just my favorite mascara right now. Now I'm going into this ColourPop Between the Sheets blush. Ah, oh, it's such a beautiful color. And I am taking my fingers and dabbing that on my cheeks and I'm just going to blend it onto the skin. But then I'm going to go in with an e.l.f. stipple brush and I'm going to use that to buff out um, and blend out the color a little better. My fingers were not cutting it out for me. Now I'm taking this NARS Albatross uh, highlight with this Sigma E50 brush, I'm pretty sure. And I'm using this as my highlight. This is such a beautiful gold highlight. <gasps> I love it. 
And I just put that on the high points of my face, down the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. I did not realize I was not filming and I filled in my lips with ColourPop Click a lippy stick and now I'm taking no wait lippy pencil and now I'm taking click lippy stick and I'm just filling in my lips with that as well it's just a beautiful orangey red shade I love it and I'm taking my L'Oreal makeup setting spray and setting my makeup and this is the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you got to see the beauty of these shadows in action to all my new subscribers so thank you for subscribing i'm excited <laughs> um i love you guys if you haven't subscribed make sure to do so just just do it follow me on my social media uh, what do i have instagram Twitter and Snapchat. It's Beauty by Nile in all of them. And I think that pretty much does it. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.